refusing to concede defeat. Former Belarusian presidential candidate Svetlana Tikhonovskaya is now in neighboring Lithuania, according to the country's foreign minister. The Lithuanian president on Monday expressed doubt about the election results that precipitated her departure. Tikhanovskaya had been a newcomer to politics. She launched her campaign only after authorities jailed her husband, a popular blogger, and banned him from running. Her aim to unseat President Alexander Lukashenko, a strong man who rules the former Soviet Republic with an iron fist. He claims to have received over 80 percent of the vote, a result his opponents denounce as a sham. Lukashenko's supposed landslide victory has triggered two consecutive nights of unrest in the capital, Minsk, with police firing tear gas, rubber bullets and stun grenades at protesters, injuring dozens and detaining thousands. At least one protester is reported to have died in the clashes. The EU and the U.S. have expressed their concerns both for the legitimacy of the election and the safety of protesters. We urge the Belarusian government to respect the right of peace, to peaceably assemble and to refrain uh, from use of force. Lukashenko is nicknamed Europe's last dictator. Foreign observers have not judged a Belarusian election free and fair since he came to power over 25 years ago.